What do all those numbers in your glasses prescription mean anyway? I'm gonna answer that question right now. Keep watching. I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye surgery, eye health, and kids' eyes. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow along button so you get all of these videos as soon as I make them. All right, you went to the eye doctor's office and you got a little piece of paper with your glasses prescription. What does it mean? I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So there's a couple different components to a glasses prescription. Of course, it's gonna have your name, your date of birth, your address, all of that. It's also going to have an expiration date. In most states, at least in the US, glasses prescriptions are good and valid for one year, 12 months. So there will be an expiration date on the prescription. But let's get to the meat of it. What are the numbers? First, you're gonna see two different rows, OD and OS. OD stands for ocular dexter, which means right eye, and OS stands for ocular sinister which means left eye. So any of you Latin folks out there, you probably already knew that. Then the standard way that most glasses prescriptions are written are with columns. The first column is sphere. The second column is cylinder, then axis, then typically an add power. So let's go through each column step by step. Sphere refers to the type of spherical lens needed to center the light on to your retina. Now this is where you can tell if you are nearsighted or farsighted. So if you have a minus number in the sphere column, that means you are nearsighted. If you have a plus number in the sphere column, it means you are farsighted. Now usually right and left eye are both nearsighted or both farsighted, but I do have some people, some patients who are nearsighted in one eye and farsighted in another. So that's not that unusual. The second column is cylinder. There will be a number in this column if you have something called astigmatism. You can check out my video about what is astigmatism right here, but in a nutshell, astigmatism just has to do with the curvature of the front of your eye. So your cornea is the clear dome-shaped covering of your eye. In people without astigmatism, that cornea is shaped very round, like you cut the top of a basketball off. In people with a little bit of astigmatism, that looks like you cut the top of an egg or a football off. And because there's an axis to the shape of your eye, it means we need a cylinder lens, something with a, an axis, to be able to focus all those different points of light into one spot on your retina. Otherwise, the light's going to be diffusely scattered. So that's why we use a cylindrical lens. I often tell people that if you have astigmatism, things are stretched. It could be a lot or a little, but like a funhouse mirror, either really tall and thin or short and wide. And a cylindrical or astigmatism lens corrects for that. The third column is axis. So if you have astigmatism, you will also then have a number in this third column. Oh wait, back up for a second. Is the number minus or plus in the cylinder? Well, this is where things get a little bit different. This is just by convention. So a minus or plus number doesn't indicate if you're near or farsighted if it's in the cylinder column. Some of us just measure in minus cylinder, like myself. Some measure in plus cylinder like other people. So sometimes if you're comparing two different glasses prescription and one was written in plus cylinder notation and another was written in minus cylinder notation, they're gonna look really different, but there's a way to transpose them and it's actually the same prescription. So don't freak out if you went to one eye doctor and it's got a minus number and it seems like the sphere number then is really different. That's because there's actually some calculations to transpose between minus cylinder and plus cylinder. But typically the prescriptions are almost always very similar between eye doctors if you go to two good eye doctors at least. Back to the axis. So think about your protractor and your geometry back in ninth grade. If you have a cylinder, if you have a lens with power more in one orientation versus another, then we need to know what axis is that orientation focused on. And that's what your cylindrical lens tells you. 
most people will have an axis that's pretty close to 90 degrees or pretty close to 180 or zero degrees. That's the most common. Those are called with the rule astigmatism and against the rule astigmatism. People that have oblique astigmatism when it's at 45 degrees or 35, that's a little less common, but not unheard of. You certainly can have that. But that's what those three numbers refer to. The sphere is the near or farsightedness. The cylinder is the amount of astigmatism. And then the orientation of the glasses prescription that needs to combat your astigmatism so you can see clearly. And then what's an ad power? Well, an ad power is for those of us over 40 who need a little help reading. That's what the ad power does. It gives you a little extra boost. It gives you some magnification because as we age past the age of 40 or 45, our lens inside our eye can no longer change shape the way it can when you're young. So it's just not as elastic. It cannot focus as well. And so reading becomes difficult. So for someone like me who's never needed glasses before the age of 44, I just need reading glasses. But if I wanted to get some kind of glasses with all in one, then I could have a zero prescription in the sphere and cylinder and then just an ad power. You could do kind of that gradual glasses, which is called a progressive. So this is for people that want progressive glasses, bifocal glasses, or trifocal glasses. The other exception is for kids or teenagers or even young adults who have had cataract surgery. You will also see an ad power in those glasses and sometimes only in one eye, the eye that they had the cataract surgery. Reason for this is when you have cataract surgery, we are removing the natural lens of your eye and replacing it with an artificial lens. At this time, most of us do not put those premium artificial lenses, those ones that allow you to see up close. We don't put them in young kids' eyes because they just haven't been tested enough in children. They've been tested in adults, but not in children. So for that reason, children then, once you take out their natural lens and put in the artificial lens, those artificial lenses don't let you read. So you need an ad power to let you read. The ad power number can vary anywhere from plus 0 0.50 all the way up to plus 3.00 or even plus 3.50. It's just the amount of magnification. The higher the number, like a 3.00 or 3.50, the more magnified things are. And you can also check out my video about why you need reading glasses right here if that interests you. If you're trying to order glasses online, then there's one other number that the online glasses shop is going to ask you for. It's going to ask you for a PD, which is a pupillary distance. That is the distance between your two pupils. That is not something that is typically on your glasses prescription, and here's why. Your pupillary distance has nothing to do with how healthy your eyes are. It is only needed to be measured for a glasses prescription. So when you go into a glasses shop and you're getting glasses in person, they do that measurement right then and there, and that's bundled into the cost of the glasses. Now, when you buy something online, you typically are not seeing somebody and you need to get that pupillary distance. You can usually just go into any optical shop and they'll charge you 20 or $25 to take that measurement for you. But this is why it's not usually on the prescription because it's an additional exam that's not usually done by your eye doctor. It's actually never done by your eye doctor because it has nothing to do with the health of your eye and only is needed for purchasing glasses. When we give you a prescription, it's telling you how healthy your eyes are, what kind of power you need in the lenses, but we leave it up to the optician, that's the person at the eyeglass shop to do those measurements. But again, you can easily get that uh, measurement done if you want to purchase your glasses online. So there you go. Those are the components of your glasses prescription. Hopefully you can understand what it is now. If you've got questions, you don't know how to decipher it, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. If you have any topics you'd like for me to address, put those down there too, and I will make sure to read them. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.